with all the time you put in singing for Slash and with Alter Bridge, is there any chance of the solo record you recorded ever seeing the light of day? Um, yeah, it's 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 going to eventually see the light of day, and um, it's just a matter of carving out a, a window of time to where not only can I release it, but I can also tour a little bit on it. Um, my goal is just to keep it real stripped down, just uh, me and an acoustic guitar, or a few acoustic guitars, and, and, and take it out. Um, but uh, right now things are just busy in a good way. Um, just have to find a um, few months in there where I can um, do it justice. I don't want to just throw it to the wind and then have it disappear, so hopefully soon. Who are your specific vocal influences growing up, and did you get to meet any of them? Um, well, the, probably the first uh, influence I had was Freddie Mercury, because um, the very first record I ever bought was uh, Queen News of the World. Um, and there were a lot, a lot of guys that I thought were, were great, but when I really started singing, um, which was much later on, um, I, I learned to sing by listening to Stevie Wonder. I had this uh, cassette called Songs in the Key, or not Songs in the Key Life, uh, Stevie Wonder's Music musical, music, music Aquarium, which was basically greatest hits, and I would sit and try and sing along with that. And a few years ago, I was t it was strange, I was at this hotel in LA, and I was telling this friend of mine about what a huge influence Stevie Wonder was. And we're sitting there, and not two hours later, he points at me, he goes, and he just points, he's like, there's your, there's your guy right there. And sure enough, Stevie Wonder walks, walks, walks in, and um, I just froze. I mean, I was just, I totally freaked out. Long story short, you know, there was a brief introduction, and I got to take a picture with him, and, and uh, it was really, really special. So, Stevie rules. All right. Have you learned any techniques or tips while playing with Slash that you haven't learned before? If so, what have you implemented? What have you implemented it while playing with Alter Bridge? Um, you know what I actually have learned from playing with Slash is the idea of sitting back and and uh, and he's a he's a real pocket player, um, and a lot of times he'll he'll intentionally keep things from rushing too much. Um, so I think that that's something that I've tried to be more a cause than of is, is, is just relaxing and, and um, not pushing it too, too hard. Because a lot of times you, you get up on stage and you get a little excited and you tend to want to just rush through it and then the song ends up being played at Mach 3. Uh, it just gets very fast and um, then I end up sounding like I'm, I'm Macklemore sing, rapping very quickly instead of singing. Which, by the way, is not a bad thing. I love Macklemore. <laughs>